Atrial fibrillation is the most common type of heart arrhythmia. So your normal heart rhythm is an organized electrical a signal to tell the top chambers to contract. When you're in atrial fibrillation, you lose that organized rhythm and it becomes essentially electrical chaos in the top chambers. With catheter ablation for AFib, we're targeting the triggers in the heart that put the heart into AFib. And those tend to come from what are called the pulmonary veins, which are the big blood vessels that bring blood back to the heart from the lungs. So essentially at that junction, where the pulmonary veins meet the left atrium, there tends to be abnormal electrical activity there, which is what actually triggers the heart to go into AFib. So the whole goal of an ablation procedure is to quiet that area electrically. It's all done through catheters where they take up through the vessels in the groin, up into the heart, and we ablate that tissue either by heat energy, which is called uh, radio frequency ablation, or we use cold energy, which is called cryoablation. Cryoablation, uh, in my case, is, is the primary modality we use to do this procedure. We deliver the cryo energy with an actual balloon that's blown up in the top left chamber, and we basically place that balloon against the tissue that we're trying to ablate, and we start the freezing process. That essentially causes a scar to form, and that is what doesn't allow the electrical signals to conduct from those trigger areas into the heart. The main difference and the main reason why I and a lot of doctors like using cryo is because when you're using a balloon and you're in the proper place, you're delivering all that energy around the entire circumference of the balloon. When you're using the heat energy, we're using a point catheter where only the tip gets heated up and we have to move that catheter around the circumference of the vein to achieve a circular line of scar to get that block we're looking for. 